Cynthia. Hello. Hi, everybody. We're live. This is my first webinar of the week. Exciting. This is my third webinar of the week. Of today? Yeah. Of today. Wow. Wow. Okay. You'll have, you'll have five by the end of the day. Okay. All right. Lots of webinars for Jess here. <laughs> Lots of YouTube. Lots of YouTube. <laughs> should I do should I do our webinar mimicking your British accent? That would be very entertaining for me. I can <laughs> but I can't like say my own sentences. I can only mimic. I can only mimic. Yeah. <laughs> Last night, Valeria, my roommate, was mimicking me. It was really funny, but not important. Do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Jess, and I come from England, from London. I've been living in Bologna for a year and eight months. And that's me. I'm wearing my Bologna top today. Bologna, from the North Face. Yeah, North Face, and it, this side. And it's got the coordinates. Yeah, that's awesome. Pretty cool. I don't have a Bologna shirt. I have no way to prove that I live here. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I remembered, yes, I'm Kendra. I'm from Seattle originally. I am 29 years old and I have lived and worked in Bologna for almost two years. I think I met, gosh, I don't know. Let's count backwards. A year and 10 months. Wow. I think. Yeah. Hi, Chiara. From Naples. And you mm -hmm. love my ass. That's nice. She loves my ass. We yeah. love my ass too. True. That's why we work there. Yeah. And we have a special question for everyone who's joining us today, which is where do you want to travel to? I have a long list. Of places, Jess. What about you? Yeah, me too. What's on your list? Um, some of the places I've been to before, like I want to go to Greece again. Mm. Um, I also watched The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants last weekend, so I really want to go to Greece, <laughs> um, which is a little silly. But I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go to, um, I'd like to go to South America. Mm. I want to go to Barcelona because I've never been. There's we a have long. very, very similar list. Yeah. I want to go to Barcelona. I have some friends living there now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stay there. I really want to go to Greece as well. And I really want to go and see the northern lights but i haven't decided where i want to see them from because you can see them in canada apparently as well yeah but they only like i've seen them um they weren't like the best when i did see them you have to go like at the right time of year the right place it's still not even sure if they'll be visible because it really depends on like the weather yeah, it's true. Yeah. Knowing my luck, it will be very cloudy. Like, you'd have to stay. Like, you can't just go one day. No, you have yeah. to stay. Mm -hmm. ah. But, hello, Claudia. I'm from Modena. How are you? My teachers are called, oh, Gabriella, Helen, Daniel, Darren, Paul, and I really, and I love really them. I really love them. We're going to switch that, Claudia. Oh, that's great. That's sweet. We're not from Modena. We're from Bologna. I do not we know. Helen, or Helen, or Daniel, Darren, or Paul. But I'm sure if I did know them, I would love them too. I love all of the teachers at my S. Most my S teachers are really cool. Yeah. Like really cool. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Hello. Your turn. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Oh, did you just hear that? No. My whole shoulder is just like. 
<laughs> no, I didn't hear it. It looks like Chiara knows Marcello. You know each other. Maybe. Or at least they met in the in the chat. Before. Yeah. And then hello um, Syria from yeah. Malaya. I think Syria, did we have a lesson together last week on Zoom? I think maybe. <laughs> did we? I can look in my notes. <laughs> I don't know. But let's read Marcello. In this moment, I want to travel to Sicily because I want to go to my family. I don't have family in Sicily, but I would happily travel to Sicily right now. Me too. I agree. I don't know if I had a lesson with. Hi. I thought I did. Oh, I'm from Bologna. Hi, Hello. Simone. Welcome. Yes. She said yes. <laughs> we had an online lesson. Oh, that's so funny. It's weird when I can see you guys, but you can't see us. But tell us, guys, like Marcello did, where do you want to travel to? Actually, I would like to go also to Sardinia. Oh, me too. I really want mm -hmm. to go. I would really like to go there. And I want to check out the – there's a lot of places in Italy that I want to visit. Mm -hmm. A lot. Mm -hmm. I've actually started a list of things to do out of quarantine. Really? Right, Show us right. your list. Your list. Your list. Oh my goodness. This is uh, just a list. So the first thing is um, go kite surfing at the beach. Okay. Um, there's a place in Bologna called Coda Villa, which I really want to go to. Coda Villa. And it's like an outdoor bar like in the hills. Okay. I want to do a trek from Bologna to Florence. Okay. Um, I want to go to Lake Guarda, mm -hmm. Elba Island. Okay. Uh, so these are all the destinations. I have also written on here, the, there's like loads of natural hot springs in Tuscany. Mm -hmm. I want to go to. Um, eat the pizza in Naples. And stay. Can you just add me on this list? <laughs> and with Kendra. With Kendra. And there's a villa called Villa di Fraulo. And obviously mm -hmm. my surname, so I want to go and book a room there and just say a room for Miss Rowling. <laughs> so my plan is to stay there. Um, and yeah, that that's as far as I've got right now. Prepare Add me to that. this list. I'll go with you. Okay. I want to go. I want to go. That sounds great. Oh, and I color coded it with like the easy things to do and the more difficult things to do. And number 19 on my list is Jess Speaks Italian. And it's like coded with the hardest color. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Chiara's right. Hi, Daniela from Modena. We have an answer from Chiara. Ooh, I want to travel to Puglia and Lombardia because there lives a lot of my friends. Because, we would say, because a lot of my friends live there. Just a little structure, organization. But well done. Put that in the comments, Piara. In Syria, I want to travel to Sardinia because there is a beautiful sea. You're right. But where in Sardinia, Syria, do you want to go north or south? I want to go south. I prefer that. And yeah. Chiara's saying there's seven of us already. Eight now, Chiara, watching the webinar. Amazing. It's awesome. Great. Yeah, I've been to the north and south of Sardinia. I prefer the south. I think it's prettier. Haha. <laughs> As Syria just said, too. Yeah. You ready? Should we? Whoa, never mind. You want to read it? <laughs> I don't work now. I stay in my home and I read. I study. I play piano. I meet my grandson and my granddaughter. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you say meet or see, though? See. Yeah. Yeah. I might change that, Claudia, to I see. 
because meat we normally use for the first time you meet someone. I'll meet after a long, mm. yeah. Yeah, meet when you meet meet. Yeah. But then you would say like, I would say I'm meeting Kendra. But that's like the first initial C to then maybe spend time together, right? Mm -hmm. It's normally like a location we- We meet at. Yeah. So I think they're a little different. But I would say C, I see my grandson and my granddaughter. Or I spend time, Claudia is a better one. I spend time with my grandson and my granddaughter. Ooh, Simone. I want to travel to Tuscany. Pistoia. <laughs> Who knows if my pronunciation is okay. To come back, my parents. To oh, visit? go back to my parents. Yeah. Or to visit my parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Parents. Okay, in the comments. I got that correction there for you. Great. I well, do that's like asking. Uh, yeah, Claudia was in doubt. She wasn't sure if it was me or C or. <laughs> well, we gave you the correction. You're ready. Okay, Wait, should we look now? <laughs> what? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. What? <laughs> All right. So, focus activity for two five travel guide. And in this activity, we have the impersonal you, simple modal verbs, and giving advice. This will be a fun one today. So, first, tourism trivia. True or false? Yeah. London has more international tourists than any other city in the world. Yeah. New York has more skyscrapers than Hong Kong. A Frenchman built the Statue of Liberty. And we can see the Great Wall of China from the moon. So what do you guys think in the comments? Are these true? or false? Mm -hmm. True or false? Ding, there. <laughs> Where do you think that tourist is? It looks like Italy. It does kind of look like Italy. Mm -hmm. Or it could be Portugal. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. True or false? These Tell us in the comments. I don't know. I know some of them. What do you think of the the them? What do you think about the first one? Uh, I don't know. Maybe yeah. I think New York probably has a lot of international tourists too. Mm-hmm. I would say it's between London and New York. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm yawning. It's Monday evening, guys. I'm a little sleepy. Yeah, because you're going <laughs> to... I passed it to her. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, I don't know. Claudia thinks the first one is true. Hmm. Hmm. But Daniela said it's false. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so we have two different answers for that one. Let's see if anyone uh, else can tell us. Uh, because it's my city. So you know. You know, you know. Okay. Should we tell them? Let's show them. What it is, is it, Jess? It's true. It's true. Okay. Yeah, I thought London or New York. This is why London's so great. Because of all the international tourists. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't like tourists very much, so. No. I prefer going to cities where there aren't a lot mm -hmm. of tourists. Because London is so uh, multicultured. Like I like that, yeah. 
so diverse that you don't know who's a tourist and who isn't because you know that's true same in the united states you're right but when you just in london i mean you could just grow up hearing all different kinds of languages around you because there's just so many different people from all over the world that come there yeah no you're right you're right and then siri has gone ahead and answered all the rest of them Let's see if anyone else can put their guesses in she said she thinks number two is false i think i yeah. I agree. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Hong Kong is a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, like, I think New York is very small. No. I think it's I quite. Don't think so. But I mean, like, Hong Kong is bigger. I don't is know. it? I don't know. Let me check. Google. Because when I went to New York. I was very, very surprised at how small it was. I haven't been to New York, so I don't know. Okay, um, Marcello thinks the third is false. Interesting. Claudia thinks number two is false. Claudia, I think I agree with you, Hong but Kong, I'm not sure. Hong Kong is bigger than New York. Really? It has one, Hong Kong has 1,106 kilometers squared and New York has 783. Wow. Okay. But New York has a larger population. New York? Yeah. Yeah. Because then I also think of like, because New York also in the sense there's other cities like that are part of New York. Does that make sense? Yeah separate islandy bits yeah like more like suburbs in a way or that are still part of new york i don't know but i don't know okay <laughs> um, kiara says i don't know if these answers are true or false guess kiara i don't know either it's okay but try why not it's fun Let's see, let's see number two. I have one guess for false, two guesses for false. I think it's false. Jess thinks it's true. It's false. No, I think it's false. I thought it was false. I thought Hong Kong is bigger. I thought you think you were saying true. Mm -mm, false. Hong Kong is bigger than New York. Why do I disagree with you then? Because I was thinking that Hong Kong would have more than New York. You just want to disagree with me, Kendra. Apparently today, <laughs> not listening. <laughs> okay, and then number three, we have a contradiction. Sirius says true, but Marcello says false. Ooh, I'm I, pretty sure I know the answer to this one. I know the answer too. Okay. I'm American. <laughs> yeah, Claudia up. also says true. Let's see, three, two, one. It's true. <laughs> And do you know why it's the green color that it is? Because it was made of copper, wasn't it? No, well, it was made of copper, but copper isn't that color. Copper is more of a bronze. But the reason it turned blue was because the salt water, when they transported it across the ocean, the salt water damaged the material, so it turned that bluey green color. It, um, yeah, normally, like, copper, if it's weathered, it becomes kind of green if it's not taken care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, but I didn't know it was crossing the sea. It did that. Yeah, it was a it was a present. It was a present from the French to the Americans. Statue of Liberty. And the last one. Yeah, exactly, Kiara. Good. She thinks it was three or true. You're right. And the last one. What do we have? I have one for false. From the moon. I've heard some things, but I don't know about from the moon. I don't believe it. <laughs> the way you say that sounds like one of the, um, who is it? One of the characters in, I think it's Lewis, in one of the lessons. I don't believe it. Don't you, believe it. You've never broken a law, that one. The <laughs> You said it exactly like um, 
Simon, oh. who is the the voice. Oh my god. Who is Simon the voice of that? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know <laughs> they were like wow. they're real teachers, like who did the voices. That's so funny. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, here we go. We have another true and a false. So we have two false and one true. I think it's true. I think but it's false. You think it's false? It's false. Jess is right. Just always listen to Jess, guys. Jess knows best. <laughs> oh, it rhymes. I'm gonna put that. Yep. <laughs> Jess. Well, it shouldn't. Jess knows best. Yeah, it shouldn't, but it kind right. of. Jess. Jess. Jess is in that everywhere. I Jess mean. knows best. <laughs> Jess is best. Not is best. <laughs> knows best. Okay. <laughs> so. Let's see, we're going to read this, but we actually have some questions. So before we start to read, I want you guys to tell us your answers to, actually, let's change this. Tell us your, tell us the answer, write your answer <laughs> in the comments. Here we go. Okay, put that up so that way our instructions are there before we start reading. Do you want to be Josh or Jenny? I'll be Jenny. Okay, I'll be Josh. So the first question, guys, is what should Josh see in London? So I'm going to London next weekend. Can you give me some advice on what to see there? Yes, I was there last year. You must see Big Ben. It's really impressive. You should also visit St. Paul's Cathedral. That sounds interesting. And if you like modern art, you can go to the Tate Modern. Thanks. Anything else I need to know about London? Yes, you must remember that people drive on the left in England. Oh, that's a very important thing to <laughs> remember. And guys, let us know if, if there's any new vocabulary. Okay. Where do I... I thought I had that as a banner, but I don't. Okay. New vocabulary. Oh, that was so weird. I had your accent of that word in my head and then it really confused me as I was trying to speak. <laughs> anyway. Is what vocabulary in London? What should it, what? <laughs> should Josh see in yes. London? <laughs> There we go. I'm putting that at the bottom. What did you can't see anything from the moon because it is so far. You can see things from the moon. I think so. Can you? Jess, I can't hear you. I don't know. Okay, now I can. I thought you could see some things from the moon. Like you can see land and the ocean, but you can't see like details. You can't? Maybe it is too far. I thought you could. Maybe because I'm thinking of just being in outer space in general, you can some like you can see some things from outer space, but maybe not from the moon. Yeah, okay, Kiara, you're right. <laughs> Jess knows best. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Tell us, guys, what should Josh, keyword, what should, what should Josh see in London? Josh. And also, these are rubbish suggestions, just saying. They're bad. Why? There's, what are some good suggestions? There's just so many amazing things to do in London. But, of course, I guess if it's your first time, then, yeah, you've got to see Big Ben. Yeah. Like the London Eye is not even there. The London Eye is so cool. I've been to the London Eye. Did you go on it? Yeah. I mean, it's quite I boring. So. It's a little boring. Wow. We have um, we have one too, but I forget what it's called in Seattle. Yeah. We have one of those Ferris wheels. Um. In London, I can visit the London Eye one. One eye. <laughs> one eye. Kiara, the London Eye. 
Ja. <laughs> en Marco, hi Marco. Josh should see Big Ben and Tate Modern. Mm. Careful. No. Pay attention to should. This is like a trick question. Because she said you must see Big Ben and you can go to the Tate Modern. Mm. It's kind of a trick. But look for the word should. To be fair to Marco, it all means the same thing. It's, it's making really a question. So it's really it's similar. I was in London two years ago. Ah. Uh, I guess they do say Big Ben, don't they? Whoa. Oh, for Claudia. Yeah, I thought you were telling me this. I was like, what? <laughs> And what? Ah, she wants to know. Kiara wants to know. What did you visit? Claudia, yeah. What, what did, did you visit? Oh, there you go, Studia. Yeah, he should visit St. Paul's Cathedral. And they also put Big Ben. But Big Ben technically is a must. Okay. <laughs> Another question. What? <laughs> What does Josh need to be careful about? <laughs> Jess is over here miming for us. What does he need to be careful about? Uh, Claudia visited, visited the Buckingham. I'll put the spelling in there. Buckingham, I think it's, I spelled it right. Ham Palace, did I spell it right? Yeah. Jess? Okay, good. <laughs> this would be the Buckingham. We want the Buckingham. There's a G in there, Kendra. What? Oh, yeah. No, I was saying if I, if I read this. Ah. Buckingham. <laughs> Buckingham. Good. Yeah. In England, people drive on the left. Exactly. I don't know how. It's very confusing. That's how you learn to drive, isn't it, Jess? It's very strange to me because I'm now I'm used to the Italian. I'm, you, I don't drive, but I sit in a car. And I'm used to being on the right side of the road now. And when I was last in England, my mum picked me up from the airport. And I tried to get into her door. She was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, sorry. And then like, when she went to the roundabout and I was expecting her to go right. Right. And she went the other way. And I was like, ugh. And I, <laughs> I was like, whoa, that was so strange. Because it's like my body and my mind thought we were going to, you know, like the sense of direction. And then it went the yeah. other way. And I was like, ah. Scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no I can't I've I've only been to London one time and I remember my dad he um he decided he drove one day and it was terrifying because <laughs> I I was scared because I he's he doesn't know he doesn't drive in London he did fine but it was really like <sighs> strange yeah. Oh, poor, uh, poor Kiara. So she's saying, Claudia, you're lucky. I can't visit because of the quarantine. No, no one can. Maybe soon. Hopefully soon. And there's one more question, guys. What verbs does Jenny use to give advice? What verbs? Our special, special verbs that we use in English. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We've seen one of them, like should. This is one example. Let's see what other examples can you tell us in the comments? Oh, wow. Claudia saw a lot of things. I visited the market. Which market? Borough market or Camden market? I'm going to. 
bet I put my money on Camden Market. Every Italian I speak to about London is like, um, oh, Camden Market's amazing. They love it. I don't think I've been to Camden Market. I went so long ago that I don't remember that much. I remember I some museums and stuff. And I'll take you around. Yeah, you need to take me to London. That would be great. That would be very cool. Yeah. I'm like, cool. I can't even imagine you in like my neighborhood. Why? Like, no, it'd just be fun. Like, it'd just be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Duda says what, or Duda, <laughs> Kiara. <laughs> I forgot. I am really tired this evening. I don't know why. The next three hours are going to be really interesting. Um, her guess, Kiara's guess, was what or should. Was or should. Siria said must or should. Kiara, drive? No, not drive. Ooh, sorry. Must. We're going to go with these two must and should and there was one other one i'm giving you a clue is that the right way or the wrong way it's the wrong way use your other hand there you go <laughs> <laughs> this is a letter the one where they what was this the one where they made the attack borough market wow borough market you know my dad, my dad was there. Money. My dad Your was dad there. was there. He's always in Borough Market. I don't know why, but he is. He really likes the area. Yeah, he was there. Wow. That's scary. He stayed inside the pub. Okay. <laughs> stayed inside the pub. <laughs> uh, Marco, do you want to read it? Be careful to cross. Not across, but cross. No A. Be careful to cross the street. When I was in London, I risked my life. Very good. Very good, Marco. Well, not good, but good, good English. <laughs> <laughs> and Daniela, she guessed could. Yeah, could or can. And so what are these? We'll put this up here. Should, can, could, must. Can anyone tell us what kind, what type of verbs are these? We have a special name. <laughs> Claudia doesn't remember. That's okay. There's, she's trying to give you a hint. It starts with an M. Ma, 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 ma. Is that why you were doing that? Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> we are not telling you until you tell us. Oh, we're not going to tell them. <laughs> we're waiting. I wish in these moments I had Monique's harmonica. I don't have her harmonica. Oh. Tiara. You have a tiara. Okay. I have a penguin. I can whistle. Turn your head again. The light like made the the heart like light up. No, no, I didn't do it. I don't know what that was. So what are these, you guys? What type of verb? What type of verbs? Kendra, that. There it is. Look at you guys. Her her heart stone lights up. <laughs> I have magical powers. I'm a magical princess. Jess knows best. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for the rest of this. Oh, I also have. What if I like? I make myself a cool princess. There you go. I think we should tell them. I'm not sure if they know. Okay. To tell them. We'll tell you. See you guys. Dun, 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 dun. They are modal verbs. Modal verbs. There's CD, I got it. Okay, I should have just waited one extra second and we would have had the answer. Good job, CD. So let's see. Ba -ba. Cover up this. Must, should, modal verbs. So 
Modal verbs. Jess, can you explain what a modal verb is? <sighs> modal verbs are also cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just got scared by nothing. A, a post-it fell, but it scared, <laughs> scared me. Okay. So verbs. verbs are also called helping verbs. They give more information about the main verb in a sentence. Should, shouldn't. Used to give advice. You should see St. Paul's Cathedral. Mm -hmm. Should I read the next one? Could is a polite way to ask or su <laughs> again a polite way to ask or to suggest something you could rent a car can can't used to talk about ability can you drive can you drive jess no you don't have a license Okay, I can drive because I learned how to drive, but I don't have a license. Okay, I can drive, but I can't drive in Italy. Why? <laughs> because of my license. Oh. It doesn't work here. Oh, of course. I can drive in the United States, but not, here. But not in Italy. <laughs> and must is used to give strong advice. Also think of like an obligation. You must see Big Ben. Must see Big Ben. What are some examples we can give them? Tell us, Jess, in London. Something I should do, could do, can do, must do. You should visit Greenwich Park. Mm -hmm. There are also deer in Greenwich Park, the animals Ooh. of that. Deer. You should also visit Kew Gardens. Okay. There's a peacock in Kew Gardens with the big tail. Peacock. Um, you should walk down Oxford Street. Mm -hmm. You should visit Jess. Um, you should go to the, no, you should go to Shakespeare's Globe. I did that. <laughs> I remember, I went there. Did you watch a play? No, we just ah. took a tour. Yeah, but good. Sorry. Those are some great examples with should Jess. It was really cool, yeah. Thanks. It's interesting because it's just like on the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. It's on the South Bank. So that 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 strip by the River Thames is called mm -hmm. the South Bank. And the South Bank for me is my favorite place in London because you can walk from London Bridge down to Waterloo, and that that strip you have the Globe. You have all these really nice areas and also the Tate Modern and you go down and in the summer and also in the winter there's like little markets, mm. also the National Theatre's there. It's a very artsy, artsy, artsy area. area. Lots of art, artsy. My baby's okay. woke up. Your baby birds woke up. Yeah. She has baby birds and a pipe, guys. <laughs> So we need your help, all of our viewers. You need to tell us what we can do. So the ability, the ability to do in these cities and then what you can't do in these cities. For example, in Seattle, my city, you can eat fish. You can, what else? Go to the ocean. You can drink Starbucks coffee. <laughs> um, but in Seattle, there's a lot that you, you can't visit a castle. No. Yeah. Jess. In Amsterdam, you can cycle. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, and oh, there's Antonio. Um, you can also have fun, apparently, in Amsterdam. Yeah. All right. You can't have fun in Amsterdam. Yeah. I like this one, Kiata. Kiata asked and then answered, what can you do in Paris? I can eat snails. You could also say you. You is in the impersonal, everyone. Oh, she said hello. Nice oh, hey, to see you again. Oh, this is so nice. Don't you think it's incredible how we are all separated, but kind of all coming together in a way that we've never come together before? Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting emotional <laughs> about the situation. It's fun because the students can meet other students. I mean, meet. Oh, and this goes back to, was it Claudia who said this? Does Claudia, yeah. Not to see, we can't see each other, but we're meeting each other first time. What can you do in Marina? I have no idea. Please have tell no me. Idea. Where is this? I don't know where this is. Marina. Eh. Me. Oh no. Ooh, we have one from Cydia too. In my hometown, you can walk. Here, we'll put this up here. Modal verbs plus, plus infinitive. Ooh. Infinitive. Oh, I. I've been here. No. Yes, I have. I've been to this beach. Oh, have you? The yeah. marina? Yeah. I think. Yes, I have. Okay. Province of yeah. Russia. Amazing. Yeah, so Syria, just to correct you, you can walk in the countryside, you can visit a church, good, but you can't swim. We're going to use the infinitive verb without to. Great. I've, I want to go to Puglia. I've never been to Puglia. It's amazing. You have to go. Yeah. What can you do in London? I can't drive on the right, on the streets. Yeah. We would say yeah. on the road, on the road. Well done on the right of the street or i would say street american english british english street. road <laughs> anyway <laughs> oh whoa we got a lot let's see Ooh. antonio yeah is it museums in paris yes you can you can't go hiking excellent true i believe you claudia that puglia this marina is beautiful. I want to go. I want to go. Antonio also said you can't go skiing in Paris, I think he means. Ooh, Marco. Ooh, in Amsterdam, you can visit Van Gogh Museum. In Bologna, you can go up to the towers. You can go up the towers. Up the towers. Mm -hmm. Up or up the two towers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. Wait, you can go surfing where? Not in Paris. Definitely. In Seattle, you can. Can you? Maybe not. In Washington, you can. Not in Seattle. You can go sailing in Seattle. Oh, we have another. We have someone new. Hello, Massimo. Do you want to read it, Jess, or no? In London, you can visit Mo MoMA Museum. Museum of Modern Art. Uh, Do you have MoMA? Yeah, Museum of Modern Art. And the Lakes Street Arches, a very cool gallery sponsored by Banksy. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very cool. cool. Ooh, yeah, Banksy Gallery. I like Banksy a lot. And Claudia, also Frankfurt 
is a very nice city. We'll change this. Is a very nice city. I love it. So for cities, there's no gender, just it. Ooh. Your turn. <laughs> In Rome, you can visit the Colosseum. The, the Colosseum. And you can eat carbonara. Very true. Carbonara is tasty. Isn't. It's not isn't, but if you want to make it a question, you would say, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is the isn't it? Yeah, that's a tag question, actually, mm -hmm. Antonio. Yeah, isn't it? Ah, the Tate. He meant the Tate Modern Museum. <laughs> MoMA uh, is in New York. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I was like, I just know that means Museum of Modern Art, but <laughs> the MoMA. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. You guys are writing lots of comments. I love this. Okay. <laughs> I like the little yeah. thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, let's see. Let's change it now. Instead of can, what about should? So give us your suggestions, your advice. What should you do and what can't you do in dot, dot, dot. In so Bologna, you should walk to San Luca. Yeah. But you shouldn't do it on a hot day in the middle of August. I've done it. <laughs> in August. Yep. You're crazy. It, um, I want to put this up. Oh, no, that's not what I, I mean, wanted. I'm out there now and I would be wet with sweat. Like in the middle of August? Huh? Yeah, no, it was a really bad idea. Um, <laughs> yes, the MoMA is in New York and it's amazing. Good, you guys. And so tell us, I'll get back to my August story, what you should do in these cities, the cities, and what you shouldn't do in these cities in the comments. Also, we're getting near the end. So please let us know if you have any questions. Okay, we have about two more minutes. Um, we had one thing. Do you mean can, Antonio? You can scuba dive in do Rome? you recommend scuba diving in Rome? Or do you mean to say, I don't recommend? You can't scuba dive in Rome. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. I like scuba diving, but scuba diving in Rome? I've never been scuba diving. I would like to. I wouldn't go scuba diving in Rome. But Antonio, I've been scuba diving like off the coast of Venezuela. So I don't think Rome will be as nice. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I've been scuba diving in Seattle too. That was Sorry, can we go back to you walking to San Luca in the middle of August? Yeah, we can. <laughs> in Paris, we can ski. 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 Not skiing, ski. There we go. Um, no, it was, it was a cooler day. It was like the weather had been super, super hot. And this day it was much cooler. And so I decided, okay, I had nothing happening. I wasn't working yet. I didn't have my Italian lessons, so I decided, okay, I'll walk to San Luca. And this is when I lived in Via delle Belle Arti, like way in the other opposite side of Bologna. Um, but I walked from there all the way to the top of San Luca. And then I walked down, and when I got down, I then took a bus home because my legs were like shaking and I was sweating and it was a bad idea. But I took a lunch and I walked up to San Luca. Well, good for you, Kendra. Yeah. Everybody's saying goodbye. Bye, guys. We'll see you guys later. Have a good, have a good evening. And there's another uh, webinar in 10 minutes. So stick around. Stick around. Okay. Bye, Bye. everyone.